Welcome back to that figure skating show. We are here for yet another season of such a wonderful sport. You have probably also noticed that I am without a friend, a co-host, a life partner. Dylan Moscovich will no longer be part of that figure skating show. <laughs> but we must continue. And we would like to say goodbye to my dear friend, Dylan. I could have never done this without you. And of course, Dylan would like to say goodbye to you. Dylan! I, have, I have one question for you. Why did you leave me? And what are you doing oh. now? And what are you gonna do without us? Or what am I gonna do without you? Well, oh after that mild guilt trip, I'm gonna lie on the floor and cry for a little while. <laughs> I, right now I'm, I'm traveling. Uh, I'm in Mexico. Um, but uh, yeah, it's time for my next chapter. I'm gonna be living in Costa Rica and uh, working at a retreat center and missing you every day. All of you, all of you, it's good to see you every day. And uh, it just felt like the time to make some change, but uh, it doesn't come without obviously some loss and sacrifice. So I'm really, really sad to not be there co-hosting with you. I'm proud of you on taking such a big step for you and yourself and your mental health and you really wanting to help people and the world. And this is the beginning of that. And I'm so proud of you and I'm very jealous that you will not be experiencing this Canadian winter perennially anymore. <laughs> and you are now in beautiful Costa Rica. What will you miss you. most about me or anything in general, not just me? Well, anything in general is you, obviously. <laughs> um, our banter, you know, like uh, work, uh, work didn't really feel like work. I, there were a few days during the Olympics that felt like work. It was, there were some, some long hauls, but yeah, man, we, we had a blast. We had so much fun and, you know, like we've been friends since we were kids. Well, you were a kid. I'm a little bit older, than you. but, and, and skating, I mean, skating, you know, has been a huge, huge part of my life. Even after I stopped, those coaching and broadcasting and talking about skating and watching skating and now uh, I guess I will stay involved with skating on some level with the the mental coaching aspect of it but just came down to making a choice but um, I miss you man <laughs> I miss you more because it's a competition um, but yeah like you said it's competition. <laughs> <laughs> everything felt so easy coming here I could not imagine these past three years feeling like that without you and um, it was such a great experience to have this foray into media with you good luck on the next chapter and you never know maybe we could have you in for a little guest appearance because I have abandonment issues and I can't have you leave completely <laughs> <laughs> thanks, man. Yeah, thanks for everything. Thank you, CBC, for everything. And, uh, you know, I, the show is in great hands. You're going to do amazing things and, and can, you know, continuing on with your media career. You're doing awesome stuff with, you know, with your voice and making change in the world with, uh, with your platform. And it's incredible to watch. So um, thank you. I love you, buddy. Uh, I love you guys at CBC. And to the fans, uh, thank you so much for your... Uh, support and not support, uh, your comments and feedback were exhilarating, heartwarming, shocking, all of the above. It was incredible. Uh, and, and also thank you for your continued sport, uh, support of the sport of figure skating. Um, the sport would be nothing without you. So thank you. And maybe I will pop in. Who knows? I guess we'll see what happens. But not, it's not out of the question. I know you love that video, so subscribe so you don't miss any more, and you're sitting here anyways, watch some more.